Hey guys, so first I'm going to start by prepping my face with the NYX Shine Killer. I'm pretty oily in my T-zone, so I love using this product. A little bit does go a long way, so you only need a small amount on your whole face. Next, I'm going to be using Milani's Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this product for years, and it really helps to hold my shadow in place. Just like the NYX Primer, you really don't need to use a lot. For my foundation, I'm using Lancome's 24-hour longwear foundation in the shade 500 Suede W. Now this shade is for deep to dark skin with warm golden undertones. I'm applying this foundation with my artist brush dupe that I ordered from the website trendsgals.com and I absolutely love it. Now that I have my foundation down, I'm taking this smaller brush and I'm going to start highlighting my face. I'm using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Medium. And as you can see, my palette is blown out. Since this palette is a little bit too light for me, I'm going to start highlighting with cinnamon underneath my eyes, on my forehead, as well as my chin and my jawbone. I also went in and added a little bit of cream on top of the cinnamon to lighten it up a little bit. For my contour, I'm using Ash Brown, which is the darkest shade in this medium palette. I'm putting that on my cheeks underneath my chin so I can get rid of that double chin and down my nose. So using my damp blending sponge by Real Techniques, I'm going to start blending away. I'm going to blend that highlight that I have underneath my eyes, on my chin, forehead, um, as well as the contour on my cheeks and my nose. Now I'm taking Max Prep and Prime Translucent Setting Powder to set that highlight that I just laid down. I started using an angled brush, however it just wasn't cutting it, so I switched to a regular angled sponge to apply the powder instead. I'm just putting that powder everywhere that I put the highlight cream on my face. I ended up going over the Prep and Prime with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder because I felt that the Prep and Prime just wasn't giving me the bake that I wanted. So to create the base for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's Brulee Shade and my fluffy NARS eyeshadow brush. So you guys do know that I put down that Milani eyeshadow primer. However, I do like to coat my eyelid with a lighter shadow just so I can build on top of it. So I'm going to be using this super cute Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette today and my new Wet n Wild brushes. Don't mind that brush being dirty. And I'm going to go ahead and dip it into this ash brown shade. You'll see me start to apply it on my eyes and then my boyfriend and his friend are both looking at me like, what the hell is on your face? So I'm going to start blending this into the inner corners of my eyes as well as onto my lids. 
right now I'm taking my IT Cosmetics brush and I'm using that light gray shade to blend out that previous color that I just laid down. I really don't want any harsh lines on this look. I want them to be soft and all blend in very well together. So I decided to grab a little bit of this shimmery dark brown shade in a NYX palette that I had laying around. And I'm just going to be taking a small e.l.f. crease brush and applying that to my crease and dragging it down into my eyelids. So I'm taking that IT Cosmetics brush that I was using before and just lightly dabbing it into um, a lighter gray shade and blending that into my eyelids as well as blending out that crease that I just put down. So now I'm taking that dark black shade in the Wet n Wild palette and this little brush and I'm going to start just applying it to the outer corners of my eyes. Now I didn't really like this brush so I did end up switching to another one. I'm just blending that black up into that brown and gray that I laid down. I also ended up going back in with that IT brush and just blending out that black a little bit so it wasn't so harsh in the corners. So I'm taking this gorgeous golden coral color and I'm going to start applying that to my lids. This little brush that I used came in this little palette and it actually worked pretty well. These shades aren't very pigmented so I actually had to go back and wet my brush a little bit and then apply the pigment back down. So now I'm just taking that brush that I used to apply the black to the outer corners of my eyes and I'm just kind of going back and filling that in again. You'll see I went a little overboard with the black so I had to go fill it in again with that corally golden color. So I'm taking another brush that I got from trendsgals.com. This is the Real Techniques one and my Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Foundation in Deep and I'm just using that to buff away that setting powder. I am adding a little bit of the Urban Decay to the brush because I want to add a little bit of color back to my skin and it not be so white and highlighted. So now it is time to tame those brows. So I'm really just filling them in and I'm using the NYX Tame and Fame pomade to go ahead and do that. So right now I am taking my L'Oreal True Match blush in the shade W78, which is Soft Sun, and I'm just going to go ahead and give my cheeks a little bit of color. So next I'm going in with my e.l.f. contour brush, as well as my Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in the shade Cocoa. And I'm just going to start chiseling out with that powder where I laid down that contour cream. So now I'm taking my e.l.f. baked bronzer and I'm just going to start highlighting my cheeks my nose, as well as my chin and my cupid's bow. 
I absolutely love the e.l.f. Bake Bronzer because it really does stay in place all day long. So right now I'm taking my MAC Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil. I don't remember what color this one is, however I will link it down in the description box below. So I really wanted to create an ombre lip today. So I went in with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Posh Spice. And you'll see that I'm just applying that to the middle of my lips and kind of blotting that out. Um, I will then go in with a lip brush and blend it out so it has more of that ombre effect. Of course, we want to set in this look that we just perfected. So I'm using the Maybelline New York Master Fix Setting Spray. And this spray is really going to lock in your makeup and it's going to give you that long lasting dewy finish. And here we have the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my future videos.